What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today I've got the latest from ILNP. We've got their Velvet Collection for spring 2024. Now if you haven't heard of ILNP before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their polishes are 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So they just announced this new collection, the Velvet Collection. It's actually coming out this Friday, March 1st for pre-order, but I've been trying to review my ILNPs a little bit earlier because they do offer a discount during their pre-order, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. But anyway, we've got six brand new nail polishes to go over today. They're all the classic springy type of colors, but they do have a magnetic finish as well as a subtle hollow sparkle. So I'm going to swatch all of these polishes in the Velvet style as the name of the collection would imply they are kind of meant for, but I'm also going to be showing you what they look like in the cat eye style. And if you're not too familiar with magnetic nail polishes, I do have a whole nail polish 101 video on them, which I'll link up in the cards. And there I go over the basics of how to do a magnetic manicure. But yeah, let's get into the swatches. Then we can talk a little bit more about my thoughts on them, pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent knee stains. Today it's the Orly Bonder base coat as usual. So we'll start off with this shade Lily. This one is described as a lilac color with the silver magnetic pigment as well as a hollow sparkle running throughout. So it's a really beautiful color. That purple base is definitely more of a jelly-like base. It's just super packed in with the magnetic pigment and that hollow sparkle. So it does build up a little bit more opaque. You can see I did two coats for opacity on all of these and there's just the tiniest hint of visible nail line. So the way that I like to do it is I apply a third coat to magnetize and I'm going to start off with doing the velvet or aura type of magnetization. I feel like whenever we have a silver pigment in a colorful base, it's usually really good for this velvet style of magnetization. Sometimes with more complicated pigments, it can get lost, but this one you can see it pulled all of that silver pigment pigment to the front and it definitely gives it a velvety three-dimensional kind of look. So it's super fun to wear this way and it does feel very springy, especially with this softer base color. It works really well, but of course I also wanted to try it with the cat eye style because to me that's just the classic style of magnetization and I was shocked at how much I love this. It really deepened that purple base and you could see that hollow sparkle so much better. You can especially see it around my cuticle area. So I thought it was really gorgeous this way. Next up, we have the shade Velveteen. This one's a really interesting one. It's actually described as a warm brown. Again, we have that silver metallic magnetic shimmer running throughout, as well as a subtle little hollow flaky running throughout. But what I thought was really interesting about this one is that it leaned a little bit cooler toned on me, and that might just be because I am extremely warm toned, so it could just depend on the undertone of your skin. I'm very yellowy, so I feel like it was showing a little bit cooler and pinker, but I did notice that this one was actually more opaque than Lily. I really couldn't see my visible nail line in that second coat, but I did apply a third coat to magnetize in the velvet style, and I feel like this type of color, those like neutral brown shades, always look the best to me when they're magnetized this way. I think they're just so beautiful, and it, it really does remind me of that crushed velvet kind of material. So again, it pulled up all of that silver pigment right to the front, and depending Depending on the angle of my nail, it looked either totally velvety silvery or it looked like a slightly deeper brown shade. And again, I did want to magnetize it in the cat eye style just out of curiosity. And again, I was really surprised at how much I loved this. It really deepened up that brown and you could see just how cool toned it looked on me. And it really just highlighted all of that gorgeous hollow sparkle. So I thought it was just super stunning this way. A little bit more of a fall color in this style, but I still think it works. Next up we have the shade Teddy and this one is another brown. This time we're in a sort of light brown, almost blush toned kind of neutral shade. Again, it is totally packed with that silver magnetic pigment as well as the subtle hollow sparkle. And this one, I have to say, just unmagnetized on its own in two coats. I loved the way that this looked. I love a soft neutral shade like this, especially in the springtime. For whatever reason, spring feels 
feels so strongly like browns and neutrals and soft purples to me. So the beginning of this color story really worked for me, but of course I did have to magnetize it just because I was so curious what it would look like. And this was another shade that I thought just absolutely stunned in that velvet style. Again, it just looks like clothing material to me. It's so cool. And I just loved the way that this base color matched my skin tone. I think it just kind of looks like a neutral, soft, almost like your naked nails, but better kind of vibe. And it really pulled all of that silver magnetic pigment to the front and made it look so dimensional and beautiful. And then magnetizing this one in the cat eye style as well. And I think the really interesting thing about seeing these with the cat eye is without all of that silver pigment throughout it, once it gets pulled to the center, it really deepens that base color a lot. So I think this is a really stunning medium brown once you magnetize it in this style. I think it's just beautiful. Moving on, we have the shade Pink Suede, which is just the classic springy pink color. Again, totally packed with that silver magnetic shimmer, as well as a subtle hollow sparkle. And this one was actually really pretty in just one super thin coat on the nails, just as like a little wash of color. I will say in general, I don't usually love these sort of dusty pink colors that I see, especially in the springtime, but ILNP does happen to make really stunning pinks. So I feel like I'm a little bit more predisposed to liking them just because I know that they make them really well. But once you see this one magnetized, you'll see what I mean. So first up, doing it in the Aura Velvet style of magnetization. I have to say also, these names are very appropriate for this collection because I feel like all of them do describe that sort of velvety look that you get from this style of magnet. So it was really stunning this way. Again, just really dimensional. It reminded me of that like crushed velvet kind of material. And it's just so vibrant and stunning. Pulling that magnetic pigment really brightened that pink color as well. So once the pink shone through on my nails, I thought it looked a lot nicer once it was magnetized. And then again, magnetizing it in the cat eye style. And I do think it deepened up that pink and made it a lot prettier. And again, you could just see that hollow sparkle so much better in this cat eye style. So I just thought it was really pretty. Next up, we have the shade Cashmere. And this one is described as a cashmere beige base color. Again, with the magnetic shimmer running throughout as well as the hollow sparkle. But to my eyes, this one actually looked a little bit more like a yellow shade. You could see in the first coat, it was super sheer and it didn't really impart too much color onto my nails. Once I got that second coat on there, I could see the yellow a little bit more. It was still a very sheer color. This was definitely one of the more jelly-like finishes in the collection. But I went ahead and I did a third coat for magnetizing. And I feel like this was where I started to find that this one didn't really suit my skin tone. I think there's just something about that yellowy color. It has a little bit of like a greenish undertone to it that just didn't match on me. And I didn't love that. I think that's just skin tone dependent though. Some colors just suit a little bit better than others. And I just felt like this one didn't really work as well for me, but I still think it's a really beautiful shade in general. I still wanted to try this one in the cat eye style as well, just out of curiosity. And I still think it's really beautiful. Again, you can see that hollow sparkle coming through really well. This one was one of the more sheer ones, so I could still see my visible nail line pretty clearly through it. But again, there was just something about that yellowy color that I just didn't think looked great on my skin. And last but not least, we have the shade Velour, which is a beautiful soft green. It is described as a sage green, but I do think it has a little bit more of a yellowy undertone to it. It's definitely a very succulent kind of color though. It reminds me of little cacti. And this was another one that I found to be a little bit more on the sheer side, but once I applied a third coat to magnetize, I found that it covered my visible nail line pretty well. So this was the kind of shade that I was like a little nervous about when I saw it unmagnetized because it looked really dusty to me and those colors just don't inspire me this time of year. But once I started playing with the magnet, I found that I liked it a lot more because once you pull that silver magnetic pigment, it really transforms the base color. So you can see it really deepened that green color once I pulled all of that silver pigment to the front and it definitely gave a really gorgeous dimensional sort of effect. This one kind of reminded me of like the way a marble looks. So I thought that was really cool and beautiful. But again, I just especially loved this one in the cat eye style of magnetization because I could really just see the beauty of that deeper green base without the silver 
her magnetic pigment in it and I just think it looks so beautiful on the nails. It's a little darker but it still feels so springy and perfect for this time of year. So here are all the shades together. First I'm going to show you what they look like in the velvet style all together and then I'll show you what they look like all in the cat eye style together. So you can see we definitely have a very classic spring palette going on here. We have the softer dustier kind of shades and I think having that silver magnetic pigment in there really softens them up and makes them feel a lot springier. Definitely a perfect Easter color story here. Perfect for springtime. It's just bright enough that it really does look like the foliage and flowers and all sorts of things that you see blooming this time of year. But we also just get some really beautiful neutral shades. But I have to say, as a person who doesn't love the typical spring palette, I am so much more drawn to the way that these look in the cat eye style because I think having all of that pigment concentrated to one area really brings out the depth and richness of the base colors here and I just think they look so stunning this way. I love how vibrant the colors look once they're magnetized in this style and I feel like this was the way to really see that hollow sparkle coming through. It really shined this way because it almost pulled all of that silver to the center and kind of like a cosmic sort of look and then we get these little stars around it with the hollow flakes even though these are definitely not the galaxy kind of colors. It's just this cat eye style always ends up reminding me of that but again I just think it's such a beautiful color story this way with just how rich the colors look together so I actually really enjoyed this. So it's it's nice to have the option where you can make them look a little bit softer and springier and eastery or you can make them look a little bit richer and bolder in the cat eye style. So that is the velvet collection and I really think that these polishes feel like a more elevated version of the typical springy dusty pastels we see this time of year and for the most part I really enjoyed these. I know I complain a lot about the typical springy pastel colors but I do appreciate having them in a magnetic version and I think actually that little hollow flaky running throughout also really helps give them a lot more visual interest and it makes me like them a lot more. But I have to say the biggest surprise for me is that I think I actually prefer these in the cat eye style which is kind of funny because I feel like the name of the collection and the style of them kind of implies that they're meant to be worn in the velvet style but I do think that they're really stunning with the cat eye look especially with that hollow peeking through. I think it just makes them so interesting on the nail and I really enjoyed that which again it's surprising because I tend to prefer the velvet style of magnetization especially for a more simple silver magnetic pigment like this. I usually think that that looks a little bit better but I don't know there's just something about the way that these look in the cat eye style so it's definitely cool to have a polish where just depending on my mood I can wear it in a totally different way so that's just another reason why I really love magnetics. So now let's get into pricing and availability. All of these polishes come in 12 milliliter bottles and they do retail on the ILNP website for $12.50 USD each. But like I said, during their pre-order, they usually have a discount. So all of the polishes are a dollar off, making them $11.50 USD each. And that pre-order starts this Friday, March 1st. So I'm going to put all of the info down in the description. You can check them out if you're interested. One thing to note is that you are going to need a magnetic wand in order to magnetize these nail polishes. I do believe it is sold separately on the ILMP website, but once you own one magnetic wand from any brand, you can use that one for every magnetic nail polish you have. You don't have to use the brand specific magnet in order to make the magnetic nail polish work. But yeah, I'm curious to hear what you guys think of these polishes. What do you think of the colors? What do you think of the velvet style and the cat eye style of magnetization and which do you prefer? And are you planning on picking any of these up? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. And if you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video.
Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Kelly Marie, and Kelly Marie wants to know, are you a fan of Dita Von Teese and or Burlesque? If so, do you plan on seeing her Vegas show? I thought this was an appropriate one because ILNP is actually based in Vegas. But fun fact, I actually do not know who Dita Von Teese is, so I will definitely have to look her up. But as far as Burlesque goes, I haven't been to too many shows here in Vegas, but I do think they're really fun and it kind of feels like a very quintessential Vegas sort of thing to do. So I feel like when we have have people visiting us. We've taken them to shows like that before, but honestly, I do want to see more. So yeah, maybe I need to add Dita Von Teese to my list. The name sounds familiar, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know where she performs or anything like that. So I will definitely have to look into it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.